All right, so today I am going to be doing a $100 challenge on Uber Eats. The plan is to see how long it takes me to earn $100 on Uber Eats. A couple of things to keep in mind about this challenge. I actually have a limited amount of time, so I may, I may run out and not hit my goal. Uh, the second thing is I am on a delivery bonus with Uber Eats. It starts at $3, $13 for $3 for three trips and goes all the way up to $40 for eight trips. So that bonus is going to be counted as part of this challenge. And I guess the only other thing that I have to say about this challenge is it's a Thursday night and it's raining and I'm starting at 5 p.m. All right, and I have until about 7.45 is the amount of free time I have. I'm hoping that we can knock this out in about two and a half hours. All right, let's see. The other thing I wanted to mention before we get into everything is I'm not going to document each delivery. This isn't about showing you every delivery that I did. I'll have screenshots and video of that um, as the night goes on, you'll be able to see the timestamps. But I'll do my best to document every delivery. Gotta fuel up. Uh, fortunately, I'm fueling up, and there's like six uh, restaurants Frozen within a thousand feet of here. So hopefully, we get a we get an order. All right, so I'm done fueling up, and uh, I did get a delivery on the way here, but. It was, it was junk, it was $11 for 11 miles, which we're not taking that. All right, so first drop off was for around $14, um, not too bad. It looks like there's a surge now downtown. It's not much, but hey, this will help us uh, with our goal tonight of seeing how fast we can get to $100, one Benny. All right, so this next order is a Starbucks order, and they're usually on point. And the funny thing is, I'm going back to nearly the same place where I dropped off the uh, Five Guys order. Well, you can knock me over with a feather. They had this order ready at Burger King, and, you know, Tanner Markley feels my pain. So normally I wouldn't take this order. It was like 5.54 for five miles. But I was on my way back into town, and it's putting me in a position to uh, get some better orders. And number three, third reason I'm taking this order, is it's helping me get another delivery in my quest. I already finished the first quest. I did three deliveries, got the $13. So now we're moving on to the next tier. So, man, uh, <laughs> got the subway to pick up an order and someone had picked up my order so i had to wait for them to make it fortunately there wasn't a long line they took care of it and to make things worse at some point i stepped in dog poop and so my car smells like poop all right so let's talk about how we did i drove so far for three hours and 18 minutes my total so far because all the tips haven't come in uh, is $94.80. So we're gonna need to wait for about an hour for all the tips to come in. And then uh, probably what I'll do is tomorrow morning, I'll film the rest of this video uh, and let you know how I did on my $100 challenge. I think I nailed it. So as you can see by the screenshot, I did earn $113 last night that is roughly $36 an hour, somewhere around there, and an average of about $14 per order. Five of those trips were surge trips. I think the surge was somewhere around a dollar. It really wasn't that much. And I did complete the quest, which was eight trips for an additional $40, uh, which counted, which was part of that $113. I think seven of the customers tipped, one did not, so not a bad ratio. So that's $100 
on Uber Eats in roughly three hours. What do you think about this challenge? I'm going to do this for DoorDash and I'm going to do it dual apping as well at some point. How about you? How fast have you earned $100 in your market? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If this is the kind of content you'd like to see, please give this video a like. And if I've earned it, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.